My name is Dee Calgar. This is my wife, Angie. And we live in the small town of Webster Springs, West Virginia. Dee and I went to school together. We were in grade school, and one of my girlfriends dared me to kiss him. So I did, and it must have made an impression. Here we are, 28 years later, three children, one grandchild, two more on the way. Hey, guys, I got your hot dog. 24 years ago, we opened the Kester Stand, a family-owned restaurant selling the best hot dogs, ice cream, sandwiches, and anything else you can think of. Everything good? Oh, everything yeah. great. Yeah. The main reason that people come back to the Kester Stand is because it's a hometown feel. Not to mention the food's great. <laughs> There's one item on our menu that our customers love, and they don't just want to be able to get it at our restaurant. So we decided to bring our product to the retail market. We need an investment from the Sharks because we want to be a national business. We want to put our hometown and our community on the map. Hello, Sharks. My name's Dee Calger. This is my wife, Angie, and we're the proud owners of Custer Stand Food Products in Webster Springs, West Virginia. Today, we're here seeking $400,000 for 10% of our company. Mm. Wow. 24 years ago, we opened a small dairy bar in Webster Springs, West Virginia, selling ice cream, hot dogs, sandwiches, and sides. Our number one selling item for 24 straight years is our hot dogs with chili. And that's because the rich and meaty chili that we top those hot dogs with is a recipe from my grandpa. It's been in our family, passed down from generation to generation since the 1920s. After countless customer requests, we brought our famous hot dog chili to the retail market. Custard Sand Hot Dog Chili is an all-beef hot dog chili with no fillers. There's no soy, no textured vegetable protein, crackers, oats, none of that kind of stuff. There's no additional additives, preservatives, gluten, or trans fat in our product. You can pronounce every single ingredient on that label. And did I say that beef is the number one ingredient on that label? So, Sharks, it's time for you to try our famous hot dog chili. Mmm, what are we waiting what? for? Yeah, bring it on. <laughs> our hot dog chili does not have beans. Our chili soup does have beans and diced tomatoes and just a little bit more heat. So Bring on the heat! It's pretty sweet. Very good. It is a little yeah. sweet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think yeah, it's good. good. Yeah. Thank you. And you must have a lot of sales because you're you're asking for four hundred thousand for ten percent. One point six million last year. Wow! Wow! Whoa! That's wow. impressive. Good for you. So, Dee, tell us how you're selling it. Uh, we're in Walmart. We're in Kroger. Kroger. Sam's but just Club. on a regional basis. Just on a regional. Is basis. that because the the taste they feel is regional? It hot, wouldn't. Hot dog chili is a regional product. So, Angie, you have a successful restaurant. You have a successful chili business. Why do you need four hundred thousand? What's the big plan? We want to be that national brand. We okay. want to be that product that is everywhere. On the 1.5 million, okay. what did you make as a profit? 217,000. Is that after you paid yourself something? Yes. And you know, we have one restaurant that belongs to us, and then we have five franchise locations. Is that part of the 1.6 coming no. in? No. What's your revenue per franchise? They're doing probably around $20,000. Okay. You're not putting those as part of the deal? We did not anticipate putting those as part of the deal. In regards to this business, I like it. I ate it really good. But more concerning to me is the 400K. To roll out nationwide, you need R&D to keep the integrity of the product. Then you have to do your in-store rollouts nationwide. And then you're going to have to do some form of uh, business to consumer advertising to tell them you're at the store. I just don't know if 400K is going to do that. I'm out. Thank you for the words. Um, we what? do have a plan yeah. that includes, you know, the profit from this year and that we estimate about the to profit. be about $400,000. It sounds like you're generating a lot of cash. Is there any debt on the business today? There yeah, is. There is debt. There's about $700,000 worth of debt on the business. Oh, oh I didn't even get to that. $700,000. So, uh, we got a fly in this $20,000 of that debt yeah. is from the brick and mortar store that the Custer, that Custer Stand Food Products owns. And the Custer other $400,000? We have a brand new freezer. We can stack three pallets high and we can drive forklifts in and out of it. That's a lot of debt for the size you are. Neither of us have a business or a marketing background. We're the American dream. We're raising yes, the next you are. generation of entrepreneurs. Yes, you are. You know, all three of our children. You're doing okay. This is what we're doing. 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 Yeah, I mean, when you think about you're it, you're grinding it out and doing a great yeah, job. We are, we have, we really have. I we're mean, crushing it. think about it. You start with the stand, you're right. getting it into major food chains, so you're really doing a great job. While I think it's great in your region, for me, I'm not passionate about it because I like a spicy chili. I'm out. What? Well, if you decide to reconsider, we've got enough passion for all of us. <laughs> Angie, I think you're, you guys are, are killing it. I mean, you start a business with one stand. Congratulations to you. Thanks. Um, so I don't have any issue with that. And I think you guys love the product. Right. Which we I always, still eat hot dogs at uh, home yeah, regularly. Right. You're passionate about it. I love all that. 
but I think it's really challenging to take a chili sauce like this and roll it on, on a national basis when there's a lot of regional taste. I don't see how you're going to go from regional to national in a food product like this. I'm out. I look at it this way. We've, all, we've had a journey here in the tank today, and I'm a numbers guy, so let me just lay out what I think this looks like. So you're asking me for $400,000 for 10%. A big player that was in this market that already sold, you know, Chile somewhere else and wanted to consolidate this brand would pay about a million dollars for it. You want to value it at four million. That's a very big difference. You want me to say that the brand makes up the other three million dollars worth of value. That's a lot for this brand that's region. It really is. If the numbers don't lie, I'm out. Thank you. Here's, here's what I see. You come in asking for 400,000 for 10%. That means you have a business valued at $4 million. That makes you guys multi-millionaires. That's why I do this show, because everybody in America is watching this show, wondering, can they be that couple? Can they be that couple that comes for some town no one's ever heard of to start a, a stand and build a business where you're making half a million dollars a year? Thank you. Now, from an investor's perspective, there's too many moving parts. Wondering where your time was being spent relative to my investment would be a nightmare. For those reasons, I'm out, but I'm here to tell you, you are everything that everybody watching this show aspires to be. So you should be very proud of yourself. Thank you. Good luck. Good Thank luck, you. luck Good guys. Good luck. Thank you. The disappointment's definitely there. Um, we worked really hard to get here. But we'll overcome it, you know. We're strong we're, together. We're strong together. We draw strength from each other and from our family and our friends. And, um, you know, that strength is what we'll, make us, you know, bigger and better.